exhausted. Thanks for joining us on Political Platform. It's a Monday, and as usual, we have all the reports for you. The report from uh, uh, Anambra State is not uh, one that is uh, cheering. Uh, the police officially has reported eight dead, but uh, unofficial reports put the figure at 11 with 18 others uh, in hospital over a shooting that is uh, wrapped around some mysterious uh, uh, information we're getting over uh, King's men uh, who live outside of Nigeria and uh, related, according to the information we have, to a uh, drug war and drug money. Of, uh, we have not gotten to the end of it, but the Anambra State government I have said they are into it. Uh, the governor was uh, up on his feet all through yesterday uh, from the community uh, of Zubudu to the state uh, where we the hospital. Uh, is the, the, the teaching hospital of Namdiazikwe University where those injured are being treated. We'll talk about uh, this and uh, to give you more insight into those personalities who may have been responsible for uh, the, 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 the problem uh, with regard to uh, the shooting in the church as early as it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm Okiri Agbonsu Remy. So much on the political turf will be get into some of them. The uh, updates we always have for you as far as the political developments uh, concerning the National Assembly is on, uh, uh, you know, um, it's uh, reacting to all the issues, all the politicians in Nigeria are reacting to uh, the issues in, in, in Anambra State. I'm Okiri Agbosu. Adebayo Bodurin is right here in the studio. So Adebayo, welcome to the program. A very good morning to you up there. I think it's, uh, this is the, what happened in, in, in uh, Anambra State yesterday has uh, brought into the fore once again the security architecture we have in this country. If I to be in a country where we have CCTV almost everywhere, where it is working, where we have intelligence gathering, where it is working, I don't think we'll be witnessing this kind of uh, uh, an act that is making people to not only throw in concern, but also money all over the country. And then John is also in the studio this morning. John welcome to the program. Thank you, Okiria. Uh, this is just uh, a bit of what the South Africans go through. Because um, this man, they said, lives in South Africa. And if this fact actually uh, is coming from the story the governor gave us, that it's between two brothers who are into drugs, you can imagine why the South Africans in, in their country are very, very hungry. Uh, of course, the story we hear is that they, they actually may not be blood, I mean, same father, same mother, but they are kinsmen and they are close from the same family. We have the pictures of uh, uh, the man who is at the center, who was said to have been in Nigeria at the time of this incident. But uh, according to the information from security, Aleosos Ikegunu, who was the target of uh, the, this attack, uh, allegedly got a tip off and, and, and disappeared uh, to cause the anger of those gun uh revengers who went to the church where a front row is usually reserved for him and members of his family and uh, they went in straight away and shot his father and uh, the mother, they, we, we hear that the father died instantly but the mother is receiving uh, 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 treatment. We do know now how the, the, they are all related and how the uh, event is playing out. They, both the state government and the police are now also deep into, into it. You know, they said we should be given the time to look, at, look into it. Dr. Amitya Naku is from Manabra State, is familiar with uh, uh, the Ozu mm -hmm. community where it's located, the distance from there to Oka, and uh, all the incidents that uh, you know probably uh, happen around there. The, the development around uh, the same man, Aloysius Ikegun, who we hear has uh, uh, done a lot uh, using his own money to transform part of that community, tying roads, build the church, and he is seen as he's a, a, a very strong figure in the community. Well, uh, the Ozobolo community is in a Pusiko local government area in Anambra State. Uh, of course, uh, we expect the security agencies to quickly uh, tidy up and uh, come up with definite statements. Uh, it's insinuations, we are hearing insinuations here, insinuations that there, 
Uh, within the next for eight hours or twenty four hours, we expect them to really uh, tie it up so that we begin to, you know, understand what really happened. Because the more critical thing is how do we prevent such in the future. But more importantly, uh, the masterminds uh, must be hunted down, arrested, and uh, lawfully punished. Of course, uh, the 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 town uh, Osubulu has been thrown into money uh, with uh, arrangements for. Uh, man, as it is, as it were, now burial of so many people who went to the, to the church to worship uh, innocent people. Uh, they, of course, uh, uh, if you ask me, if you watch the video I saw of uh, uh, the Aloysius Ikegunu uh, this morning of uh, his show of wealth in the community, even at parties throwing money, uh, the community deserves may have benefited one way or the other from whatever deals he has been involved in. It goes to the question we have been asking on this platform. Uh, why, why is the society structured such a way that uh, the people who are revered, who are given even national honors uh, in Abuja here, people who are given titles by the traditional ruler, people who are given front row seats in church, those who are recognized in the mosque and in the, in the religion, are faith-based uh, institutions, uh, we do, do we have a way of asking how they got this money? When they are making contributions, do we ever question it? Can, do we have the moral standing? Can, are we smart enough? Are we good enough to say no if they bring in money uh, to us? We'll be discussing this because this is just a tip of the iceberg. A lot of it happened all over Nigeria with people doing deals getting money, stealing from government, bring it home, they get cheap transit title, they get recognition. And this is a, fire, a backfiring of what we have had, what we have had uh, across Nigeria. And uh, we'll be talking about it. And how is it that the police uh, it, it was unable to track down this uh, person? And unfortunately, we don't have data. We have chatted about this. We have talked about it. It's also possible that this church did not also have CCTV around it, even if it had. How did they uh, get the whole pictures out and begin to look for the gun man who uh, was said to have been masked, who came in and shot him uh, sporadically? And uh, he, he wore the, we were told he wore a face cap. Who did, did anybody, can anybody ever identify is he from the community? Uh, do we just stay and just have, stay hopeless and uh, helpless? After so many years of independence, we don't have ways to quickly find solutions to problems like this. Let's go to our mailbox. After that, we will take giving you your own opinion on some of the issues around the quality. We'll come back to do the analysis. Hello and welcome to the mail segment. I am a Tenekan at your group. I am a Saiti. Yeah, welcome. And we'll begin with Anambra Judge Killings, and this is coming from Napoleon and Kem in Abuja. He goes on to say, I am disappointed by the official statements emanating from Nigerian Police Authority, ably represented by the Anambra Commissioner of Police, Mr. Umar. According to him, during a telephone interview with AIT, the true identity of the assailants are not yet known. My question to him is, how did he come to conclusion that this killing was perpetrated by indigents of Ozublu, who are drug barons in less than five hours? Jide Ibrahim says, your platform remains the only veritable medium that assists Nigerians to clarify complex issues plaguing our political landscape in recent times. Should President Muhammad Buhari not be out of sight and out of hearing after duly handing over to his vice? Why should Buhari's presidential aides continue to issue official statements on his behalf when there is a duly recognized active president? I feel this is not only absurd, but a brazen act of impunity and recklessness which our political system should not tolerate. This is where I feel the National Assembly, the Presidency and all stakeholders should rise up to condemn and stop this act of recklessness as, re as it ridicules our so-called nascent democracy. Once an acting president is in place, the president and his aides should remain out of sight and out of hearing. Period. God bless you. And Oluwa Shei in Ogun State writes on the only way to go for Nigeria. He says, Nigeria is a nation of many nations, and by implication, it has to be brought together by consent and not by force. In 1914, we were forced to live together. There should be a convergence of all ethnic groups that make up Nigeria to agree on how to run this entity called Nigeria. When this is done, 
you will be marveled that the, at the rate of development that will be witnessed without much ado, all because we have agreed together on terms of collectivity and mutuality, and it will not be difficult to live together as one inseparably undivided nation of nations. The 1999 constitution is established on falsehood and falsity because all the ethnic groups that make up Nigeria did not sit together to make that document, let alone any referendum agreed upon on the acceptance or otherwise of the, genu of the genuineness and legality of the military constitution that is in operation today. We need a wholesale people's constitution and it's now. Writing on the states of our roads, Kel Green of Toyde in Lagos says, I would like to bring to the notice of the relevant authorities the bad state of Ikorodu Ogijo Shagamu Federal Road. The road which connects Shagamu Federal State to Lagos at the Ikorodu axis has been abandoned over the years, despite its significant role to the nation's commercial hub center. Ordinarily, a journey from Ikorodu to Shagamu, which should have been nothing more than 30 minutes, now takes over two hours to complete. If that road is fixed, it will help to congest the heavy, persistent vehicular traffic on the ever busy Lagos Ibadan Express Road. And finally for today, Ojile Emmanuel in Kogi State says, I am an ardent listener of your program, Political Platform. Please, I bought Dark Communications shares in 2008. Until date, I have not been given a certificate to that effect, nor have I received any refund of dividends. Please, I want to know the problem because my name was not among those to be refunded then. Please, I have waited enough. I need a certificate for the, for the 2,000 units of shares purchased. God bless the crew and the entire DAR group. That's it on the main segment today. Keep sending your mail to political platform at yahoo.com. Busted! They present the popular radio program, Political Platform, on the Ray Power FM network. Ray Power FM Political Platform, now on television. Keep track of the country's polity and be part of the process as they discuss and put political developments in the country into perspective. It's Ray Power Political Platform on AIT Abuja. Thank you so much. And just, just a quick response to that. The uh, uh, person who invested in that shares have uh, uh, called the company secretary. And uh, for those who also have uh, similar problems, not just with that communication, with any other company you have invested in, you have not gotten your share, the best uh, way to go is to go to the registrar. For the DAR Communications uh, PLC, it is first registrar. So if you do not know the address of the first registrar, just walk into any of the first bank offices and they will direct you where the first registrar is located. I will also quickly tell you that uh, the company secretary has advised that it is also possible that your share certificate may have been sent to you, but to the wrong address or the address that you provided. So if you go to uh, when such uh, uh, share certificate cannot locate you, it is usually returned to uh, the registrar. And so if you go back to the registrar, you will definitely find your certificate or they have explanation to uh, give to you. For any investor in any share in Nigeria, that is the route to take. If you have invested, you have not taken, you have not seen your share certificate, approach the registrar and uh, with the details that you have and they will be able to help you locate uh, the share certificate or tell you whatever must have happened and that led to your not having your share certificate. Now let's uh, come back to uh, the uh, issue on the table. How many are we? Who are we? And what do we really have as a way of identifying ourselves? In many countries around the world, uh, the identity is key. You hear of the uh, social uh, uh, security uh, card. You hear of so many very simple things that you use to, uh, that's in a chip, in the card that you use to identify you. That is you. If you have a number plate on your car, that is you. Once they get the, the, the number plate and they put it to a system, the numbers to a system, it tells everybody who you are, what you are, your age, where you are located, and your address, and everything about you is uh, there. Unfortunately, we have not been able to get to this level. All efforts over the years to get these uh, out through, through various means, except the private institutions, the banks, who have successfully done uh, what they use to actually, actually manage their customers, the ATM, and all the other identity you have, such that if you have an ATM here in Nigeria, you can take it to London, put it in an ATM in London, and you will have an answer to your 
a request for funds or even the information about your bank, let alone within Nigeria here, you can withdraw money anywhere. Just because there is a chip that is uh, put there identifying you, you can slot into uh, the ATM uh, machine and you are there. Unfortunately, we are not identifiable. We do not know who is a Nigerian. If somebody crosses from Togo who is there at Debayo, comes into uh, Lagos and says, and walks into our neck office and demands for uh, yes. a, a voter re, re, a card, he will be registered and given a voter a card because there's nowhere the Independent National Electoral Commission can touch or know to see if you are a Nigerian. Now, these are some of the problems. If we tie it to what is happening in Anambra State and the effort of the security agencies to try to get to the root of the matter, they are handicapped because they do not have all the means, very, very simple means to get to the identity of these individuals. Somebody will just take a gun into the, the church, shoot down everybody and walk out. And in, for days, we do not even know who the person is. I think it is a sad thing for us as a nation. As I said earlier on, uh, this, this, this killing has brought into the force so many things that are wrong with us as a nation. Uh, it's only in Nigeria, among all in the Committee of Nations, that have seen that every organized every unit of government is capturing individual is registering individual you want to get a driving license they will do it separately you want to get you want to register your national passport you get it separately international passport separately and whereas elsewhere what you have is a central data collection set a point and your 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 identity will be known anywhere you are you get so if you go to a passport office, you don't need yeah. to feed, you just show them the identity and take, that's all. Take, the, take EU countries, for instance. They, they issue one license that will last for 50 years. So there's no question of you're going to repeat it almost every year or two, two years or three years or five years as the case may be. And if that license, whatever part of the country you are, will be accessible, they'll be able to assess you. In another country. In another, they will assess you in another country. That is even, that is a sub, sub regional body. Uh, in the EU, I mean, a continental body or a subcontinental body, that they have facts and assets. But here we are in a country. The idea of uh, issuing an identity card to Nigeria started long ago. It was, it became prominent. So yeah. much, so much fun. So Go much fun during the Chagari period. Then the military regime took over. Eventually, your passenger started experimenting with it. It was a, it was a failure, total failure. Most of the people that were that were registered did not get the identity card. Another government came, they started it all over. And look at the ridiculous thing they are saying now. You don't have a national identity card, you cannot access passport. Number. Hmm. You know? National identity number. Not yeah, a national card. identity number, you cannot access, you cannot get a passport. Is that from, is it from next year or is it immediately? Uh, I, I think it's even a, uh, a good move from them. Uh, it's, it, I think it's, it's the a first way of step. prompting everybody yes, to. It's get... a first step towards integrating integrating all the data uh, because the, the issue is that if you don't have a national identity card you should not get a driver's license yeah. you should true. not get an yes. international yes. passport you should not get a, a, a bank uh, a, a bank account you can operate a bank account or th th these are what we should have done a long time ago so that that national identity card becomes the central, the, yeah, the yeah, central, central data and the base uh, talking about identifying the those behind up to now, I don't even know whether it's a long gun man or gunman. Mm -hmm. The police will tell you this, eyewitness will tell you a different thing. Our correspondent, you... our correspondent spoke with uh, the, the Reverend Father in charge of that uh, parish yesterday, and what he got was that a, a long gun man came in with face cap and came in suddenly and went for his target. And after shooting down his target, he went all about in a, probably in an attempt. Mm -hmm. To stop anybody from moving. We also hear that some other person, you know, various accounts, some other persons were also waiting in a vehicle for him. But you know, if he's a long gun man, it's very pretty difficult for uh, the person him to, to run, get away. Get away yeah. But the point I'm emphasizing is that if it's in the same uh, country, uh, by now the identity of the people would have been established. Yes. But we cannot do it here because we don't have the first. We have not invested. We have not invested on our security have we not infrastructure. Invested we have all, not. All the somebody, have not been, we have, been, we we have, have been. invested. Uh, <laughs> what we invested, we're just uh, because trickles. if you come to Abuja, wait. If you come to Abuja, mm. you see all the CCTV mm. uh, cameras. That are most of them are not working. Can can they, work? Most of them have been uh, can, uh, can, cannibalized. Cannibalized. Now, uh, have, someone challenged me on matters that arising. I guess last week, 
How many times do you see a policeman speaking into a walkie-talkie? They rely on an ordinary GSM to communicate, just as I communicate uh, with yeah. you. So uh, it's garbage in, garbage out. What's the percentage of our budget into security? And what's the percentage that is utilized for the purposes that are meant and not diverted into private pockets? Uh -huh. These are the issues. We need to upscale our investment level and make sure that the little we even put there are judiciously. Uh, just let me, let, 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 hold on. Uh, uh, Joma, let's take a break and we'll come back shortly. Busted. They present the popular radio program, Political Platform, on the Ray Power FM network. Ray Power FM Political Platform, now on television. Keep track of the country's polity and be part of the process as they discuss and put political developments in the country into perspective. It's Ray Power Political Platform on AIT Abuja. Thank you so much. Uh, you know that uh, you can get more on a political platform if you watch us uh, on AIT in Abuja by 6 p.m. and then you can subscribe and watch our uh, subscribe and watch our video. Uh, all the episodes uh, you may have missed, including uh, this episode that you are, you you can also get on our YouTube channel at AIT Political Platform. AIT Political Platform. Uh, and uh, you are able to get uh, the, the, the pictures and the, uh, the, the video and the content generally anywhere you are around the world. And for Ray Power FM, you download the app. If you download the app, you will be able to stay tuned to Ray Power on a continuous basis. Listen to the music and the information as well as Ray Power. Uh, uh, a political platform that uh, we also give to you. Uh, let's uh, we are talking about the need to harmonize our identity uh, management, the need for us to step up the game and move away from this uh, long ghost load that we have had in the, so many years uh, of uh, running around in the circle. And uh, uh, Ijeoma was making a point. Yes, I wanted to say something about um, what Amechi said concerning now if you don't have an identity number, you cannot be given a passport. Good idea, but what have we done? Are we, are we ready for this? If the crowd comes now, is the, is the agency ready to take everybody? Because if you go now that you want to renew your passport, they'll tell you no paper. Those are the challenges that we are no, having. No, no booklets. No booklets to do it. Those are the challenges we are having. By the time you see no, hundreds of people queuing up in that agency, trying to register themselves because they need to get a passport or they need to get their driver's license. Then you, you, you find out that we have challenges. These people may not even be able to, to get to, to, cope. Yeah, to cope with the, 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 the numbers. And also, let's ask our state governors, what are they doing about security matters? They give them security votes. What are, how far, how are they using the security vote? Because the states are worse off. We only concentrate at, uh, uh, on the center and we don't look at what is happening in the state. These state governors should define what they do with their security vote. Because if they utilize that vote properly, but we will not have a situation where the policeman will come and say they are still investigating. Are they not able to do it? Are they not able to It's a matter of laying a foundation and working on it, put the, put the blocks on the foundation. Now, if we are talking about all the problems we have had, they are all blocks that need to be placed on a foundation that is laid. If we have a national identity card management system, they will design, like we know they have already designed something that ought to be, uh, we will roll on. Every other sector will come into it. It's not that the national identity management uh, company or whatever it is will issue driver's license or they will issue international passport, but that they will have a basis for identity. If you, if you want to go and get a driver's license, they ask you for that identification. For to know, first of all, if you are a Nigerian, Nigerian. If, you were if you are qualified for the documents you are asking for. But as it is now, even the police, with, 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 with due respect to those who still criticize the police and say they are not doing enough, if you know the enormity of the challenge they have, the training that they don't have, the expertise, and then the number even, the sheer number of policemen, and to make the matter worse, the facilities to even work. I will even tell you that in some instances, the policemen are miracle workers. Because to fish out these criminals, when you don't have the identity, you don't know where to get them, it's one that you sometimes will say, how did they do it? You know, my, my, my worry is this, is that Nigeria is not, uh, Nigeria is a blessed country when it comes to uh, people with intelligence that can assist the country to fashion policies. 
And one critical area where we need a very solid policy at this particular time is in the area of security. We have so many challenges, kidnapping, and banditry, and robbery. So many things are happening. People are holding guns everywhere and all the rest. And there is no way of uh, knowing who is, who is doing what. And then they don't have, we don't have, we are talking of uh, database, we don't have it and all the rest. So the unfortunate thing is that even if you make, if, if a process is set in motion now, then let's have, let's review our security architecture. And let's, let's look at the areas that are deficient and in a way that we can right the wrongs. Yes. The totality of it is that you will end up having those documents gathering dust in probably in one shelf, in one office. Oh, oh here yeah. uh, you know? uh, so, so, uh, sorry, I needed to quickly stress this point. We are talking about identity management and use of uh, fingerprints. Uh, this was achieved in uh, other crimes uh, several decades ago. They're even moving beyond biometric to facial, yes, facial. and even uh, the, your the eye pigment. Yes. And think, think of other societies that have used the VIN, vehicle identification number, the one that is uh, below part of your windscreen. That's the chassis number. Uh, if you want to know the history of any vehicle in the United States, you just even start putting the chassis you know, number. Any time uh, that uh, vehicle has been uh, stopped by the police or uh, penalties given to the driver, it where it's been serviced, you see, you, you as a private individual can download the entire history of that uh, vehicle. So in Nigeria here, we saw recently what happened when the acting president appointed two persons to the board of ICPC. Independent corrupt practices and other related offenses, offenses condition. And he didn't realize, apparently, that, that two of them or, or were undergoing business. investigation by the ICPC. If we have an integrated data system, even available to the security agencies who normally clear them before uh, they, they are appointed by the president, if we have, if you're under investigation, it should be attached to your identity uh, that the government is aware of. If you do anything you do, is uploaded to your identity so that the president or the acting president on the top, 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 top of a button know who you are and know who you are dealing with. That is intelligence and that's how modern society operates. Fortunately, we are yet to be there. We just hope that uh, everything will be done for us to be there. And uh, the much we can take on the program this morning, uh, send us your own mail, your contribution through political platform at yahoo.com. Uh, we sympathize and indeed mourn with those who are having to have their dead buried in Anabra State and we are urging the uh, security agencies to step up the game and uh, do their best within the limit of uh, the facilities available to track down because uh, like uh, Shakespeare said in, uh, uh, in uh, Macbeth, he said the shaft that is shot is still flying. We don't know if it is going to land anywhere. We do not know if is it the beginning of a plan, the middle of it, or an end of it? And you don't have to keep a whole community uh, restless and fearful because they don't know what is going to be for them. Let's do it again in another 24 hours on political platform and uh, send us your mail for us to share with the others. Okay, here I'm here. Busted.